priorities? Well, if you think about the process of human development, it's very, very complicated, right? If you think about what happens when someone is 12 and how they reach the age of 24 or something like that, I mean, reflect on your own adolescence, how phenomenally complicated it is, right? You have all of these things to negotiate, the social and the political and the family and education and finding out what you want to do for a living, all of these incredibly complicated things. And the point is that, all, that they all matter, right? Even if we think of the economic outcomes is the most important and finding a productive job that you're happy with, that requires an investment in an enormous and broad range of things that we, we have to pay attention to. So it's hard to say there's one priority or even two priorities, but making sure that young people have the opportunities and have the agency, have the capacity within themselves to, to grab hold of the opportunities that they need in order to reach adulthood, it, it's hard to identify one particular thing that, uh, that we need to prioritize over all the others. Access to family planning, and particularly in the sense of having control over your own reproductive and sexual decisions and behavior. That's absolutely essential. Right? We still have situations in some countries where young women who become pregnant are forced to leave school. Young women who become mothers or who marry are forced to leave school. And, and that in itself is a, is a terrible waste. It's a waste to them, it's a waste to their families. We know that families of, of women who have children very early, those children don't develop as well. So there are, there are multi-generational consequences. So of course, access to family planning is essential, as well as the empowerment that is required in order for young women to take advantage of those opportunities and make the, make the decisions for, for their own lives. Oh,